In this Sailing Doodles, we have a wonderful sail down the Delaware Bay. And then we pulled into Cape May where the girls got a little frisky. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby, Allie, and Megan as we set sail in our 1989 CT56. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. In the previous video, we finally got off the dock and set sail from Annapolis, Maryland, up into the CND Canal, where we had a little crew bonding time. So two years ago, right before I left to cross the Pacific Ocean, I ended up buying a guitar with the intention to teach myself how to play guitar on that passage. But teaching yourself to play guitar is incredibly difficult. I wish I had known about Skillshare back then. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of courses taught by professionals, everything from marketing to photography and, of course, music. This is Mike Boyd. He's a professional instructor and musician and teaches the Guitar Fundamentals course on Skillshare. It's a very well done and in-depth look at how to play guitar for beginners. I'm really looking forward to increasing my guitar skills from his course. Not into music? Well, this is Daniel and Rachel from Mango Street Labs. They teach a course on photography that takes you through all the basics from lighting and setup to editing and post-production. So the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. After that, it's only about $10 a month. So click the link in the description and get your creative juices going. All right, a nice little night here. Um, the girls are dropping the trash off. As soon as they get back, we're going to untie the lines and get out of here, take advantage of this little bit of current we got going with us. Unfortunately, it's going to turn around and head and at us pretty soon, but whenever. It's only about 10 miles through the canal, and then we'll be out less current. And then actually the current will turn around and go with us again. So, yeah, nice little night. You guys ready? Yeah. But we're born ready. I don't know, Megan looks a little tired. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart is so Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow The plan for the day was to head out of the CND Canal and then down the Delaware Bay to Cape May. Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I've been Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all So the plan for the day, we started there, go all the way through the canal, and then down the Delaware. Out here to Cape May is where we're going. So we're passing Hope Creek uh, nuclear power plant. It always kind of amazed me. I mean, I would think they'd have like a security patrol boat or something, but I've never seen one out here. And it's twice now I've come by here. Fishes or sharks. What's the, what's the patrol? The mutant fish. Three-eyed sharks. They get the size of this boat. Anyway, we could have sailed down this way a little bit for the first five miles, but the wind is, uh, would have been, you know, we would have been close hauled and kind of uncomfortable. So we're going this way another half mile and then we turn that way and we'll be downwind and we should be good to go. So we'll put sails out here in the next five minutes. Sailing. Yep. All right, go ahead. How far do I have? <laughs> That's good. We just gotta wait for this barge to go by, and then we'll turn a little more that way and put the Geno out. Check out this five piece of machinery here because we really we need to upgrade. Who needs grinders? Who needs grinders when you have this? Thank you. <laughs> what was it? You can do it, put your back into it. That's the theme song. You can do it, put your back into it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, we are sailing doing over eight knots. Pretty nice, just uh, missing in the uh, Genoa. your head at night if you have to live on that thing which I assume someone did yeah back in the day they were manned so there would have been in the Delaware Bay here and the Chesapeake dozens of them and uh, they would uh, have somebody living on them full-time I think they were doing like month or two on stretches they'd have all their food and stuff delivered Hopefully the deliveries didn't get delayed. well sometimes you know it'd be really bad weather for a couple weeks you know and it was hard yeah so they had to be prepared So we do have a little current helping us, but we're doing 10 knots. So all the ass, just the main, I'm sorry, just the mizzen and the general. Allie the Eliminator. Let me tell you, man, if you're a fly, don't come messing in this area. It's gonna end badly. It's gonna end badly. They call her the fly trap. <laughs> there are a lot of black flies here. They're biting too, which is annoying. They really hurt. Yeah. Assholes. You close your eyes, turn hands to face. I know that sign will make me hate. Get a good one. What? How do I look like a natural? Yeah. Like a natural. <laughs> Having these bean bags out here is great. We used to have a big giant bean bag, but I think these little ones. So comfy. Yeah, they're just easier to move around, you can, and it's not just one big giant bean bag. I could definitely sleep out here yeah. on this. I might do that. Go for it. So yesterday, when we were about to leave, uh, the engine quit running because there was water in the fuel system. I'm pretty sure I know why that happened, and I'm gonna show you what I've done to resolve it. So I'm pretty sure it was condensation from water, you know, just condensating inside the tank and going down, going in there. I mean, it was gallons of water. And the boat had sat for a couple months and here running the air conditioner and all that. So what happened is, is that right on the other side of this right here is the diesel input, right? So there's a down tube going down into the tank, which is right here. Well, this right here is uh, the air conditioning vent. Well, when it was done, it, they just made a little box and kind of placed it in there and there was gaps in the box about that big so like cold air was going out the back right onto that down tube i mean like you know so air conditioning air when it leaves the air conditioner is like 50 degrees right so 50 degree air on the metal down tube doing that just making everything really cold throughout the rest of the system which makes uh, air condensate on there and a lot of water up in there. So, I mean, a matter of several gallons, maybe three gallons over a period of a few months. Um, so what I did is I just got marine caulking and put that in there and sealed it up. So now the air should not leak out of there straight onto that pipe and we should be good to go. All set. Hello. <laughs> Getting there. Almost How much there. longer? Oh, I don't know, four or five miles, something like that. Well, maybe six. It's really nice having these iPads that go to the chart plotter with Wi-Fi. So I can just sit up here and monitor the boat and everything, make sure we're not getting in shallow water and make sure the wind's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And I can just sit right here and in my sailing doodles bean bag and uh, chill out. Not bad. You take my life for granted. Say a bunch of stuff you never mean, yeah. Just be enough.
kicking your boogers. I didn't. I went like that. Yeah. Like that. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Ready? Go for it. Down here. <laughs> and and I have mine. Oh yes. <laughs> Claws out. They're uh, at least they're not green heads. Little hellions. I mean they're just as bad though. Them. One of them made my toe bleed. How'd it, how'd it, go like, it bit me like Oh right great, yeah, no problem toe checked toe in, no problem. No, like, uh, red spot on my he toe gave now. me the lowdown on some of the restaurants and everything, so Yeah. Yeah, he Which said, one are we going he to? He said there's Seaview Tavern that has excellent bar food and next to that is like a pizza shop that's pretty good. Alright. So we made it to Cape May. Uh, this is Owen, by the way. Say hello. Hi, guys. He is a racing friend of Ali's, so we are going to kind of walk around and get some dinner. Uh, we're going to go explore the town a little bit in the morning on the scooters. Yes. So it's kind of a little late already, so we need food. Yeah, sustenance. Yeah, all right. Keep marching on. Let's do it. Another successful day of sailing. So we're gonna take it to go. Head back to the boat. Yeah. We're gonna run. We're gonna yeah. run. Ah. You're gonna run. I'll be walking. <laughs> what do you think, Owen? I think we're gonna get moist. We're gonna get moist. It's gonna be moist. It's gonna be moist. I'm gonna break out in the rash. <laughs> Rainwater in my mouth. <laughs> Girl, you got it. That's how it goes you out here. You got some good lips, let me tell you. Like naughty dogs. <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, liking, subscribing, and uh, you know we'll see you on the next video. $100 per episode to see the upfront, close and personal, skin on skin action. <laughs> <laughs> She's lying, that doesn't happen. <laughs> like, no, that, that doesn't happen. We don't do that. We don't do that here.